Initial installation of the MyUTN80. After the dongle server has been plugged in and connected to the network, we'll move over to the client PC. First of all, we'll need the UTN manager, which we'll find on the product CD that's provided. Our browser will open automatically when we double click on the CD and we'll see the CD menu. We'll be able to click on tools here. Afterwards, we'll be able to select the UTN manager. After starting the installation, we will click on Next. You can accept the software license agreement for the UTN Manager by clicking on Agree. In the next step, we can select whether to install the UTN Manager for the current user only or for all users of this PC. For multi-user systems, you should select all users. Now we must select the type of installation for UTN Manager. Here we will select whether the UTN Manager should be installed alone or if it should be installed with the additional SEH UTN service. The essential difference between the two variants is that with the second option, the Windows service SEH UTN service will also be installed. This service works in the background and is automatically active after the system starts. It can be used, for example, to cause devices to remain active, even if the UTM manager is closed. The service can be controlled using the standard Windows administration methods. Further benefits of installing the service are provided in the form of multi-user and group permissions. For example, this will allow you to differentiate between users with administrative rights and users without administrative rights, thus restricting access to the device. In the final two steps, we will select the target directory and the Start Menu Program folder before we finish the installation. The UTN Manager will open once we have clicked on Finish. After the UTN Manager is started, it will check whether the most current version is installed. In this case, a newer version is available and we have the option of updating. In the Update window, we will also find information regarding the changes that have been made to this new version. We now have to select the location to save the file. I have selected the desktop. After the update, we'll be asked whether we would like to start the installation. No more entries by the user are necessary during this update because UTN Manager has already been installed. After starting, we'll now be taken to an empty selection list. What exactly the selection list is and how it functions will be described in detail in the screencast entitled Hands-On UTN Manager. Because we have already connected the MyUTN80 dongle server to the network, I now only need to search for new devices. To do so, I click on Edit. In the window that then opens, I will see a new device on the left-hand side with a so-called zero config IP address. In this window, the connected dongles will be displayed. With the standard options, the dongle server will use DHCP to obtain an IP address if you are using a DHCP server on your network. Because no DHCP server was used in this example, I now have to manually set an IP address. To do so, I right-click on the device, select Set IP Address in the shortcut menu, and assign a free IP address. In addition, I can also enter the gateway here. The settings are applied by clicking on OK. A brief moment later, 
I can start a new search by clicking on Scan and the dongle server will automatically be found with the new IP address. I then click on the IP address and then click on Add to add the device to my list. We then leave the search window by clicking on OK. We have now completed the configuration process. You will now see the dongle server and the two dongles connected to it. You can now select and activate one of the two dongles. The dongle will be automatically connected with the PC via the network and Windows will search for and install the required drivers. If the device has been activated and the driver has been successfully installed, you will see the status activated here. We will also see a new USB device in the Windows Device Manager. As you can see, we've connected the USB dongle in the same manner as we would if it were connected locally to the PC. The PC always sees the dongle via the UTN Manager and the dongle server as a normal USB device. You can, of course, also activate both dongles simultaneously or use the second dongle from another computer on the network. If the USB device driver is not found automatically, you will be asked for a driver CD or for a folder with the driver, as usually occurs in Windows.